What's going on guys? Chuck back with another awesome Blu-ray purchase and today it's going to be a three for one as I'm going to take a look at three different sets uh, that I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome. However, they are all centered around one person and that one person is filmmaker, uh, director Doris Wishman. Uh, so you know, uh, if for those who don't know, because I just recently found out about her, honestly, I had never heard of Doris Wishman until just uh, recently I've been reading a fantastic book called Sleazeway Express. Uh, which chronicles, you know, uh, the exploitation era uh, in, I guess, 42nd Street and all those, you know, sleazy uh, theaters and the the movies, the people who made them. It's a very fascinating book. If you've never read it or ever heard of it, I suggest you go out and, and, and check it out. Um, if you're, especially if you're into the history of 42nd Street and, and exploitation cinema. But, you know, it, she's mentioned it briefly. Um, and starts talking about some of the film that she had done, which, you know, sparked some curiosity in me. And then I just happened to see, you know, browsing through Vinegar Syndrome's titles, and I see these awesome, awesome sets. Um, and I just, it just, I was on the fence about it. Do I pick these up or do I not? I mean, there's, they're, they look really cool, but don't want to do them. I mean, immediately, I, I went for it. They're kind of a blind buy. But, it, you know, the appeal was just too much. And let me show them to you real quick. So, and these are a three box set of the films of Doris Wishman, and they're separated into three different distinct eras of hers, I guess. And it's, it's cool because it's pretty much uh, almost her and for the majority of her um, filmography. Not everything, but almost everything. And she dealt a lot in um, exploitation, and sexploitation, and which is amazing, especially being a female director. And from what I understand, some of her stuff was pretty out there, uh, crazy. Pretty raunchy, um, very sleazy. So I'm very looking forward <laughs> to, to checking these out. So let's take a look at these real quick. Um, be careful here. This was a little tricky. So the first one is the films of Doris Wishman, Wishman the Twilight Years. And, you know, I covered his little naughtiness on here. Um, and this basically chronicles her very early uh, era in, in films where she was doing what they call the nudie cuties. Which is very popular, um, one of the earliest forms of exploitation, sex exploitation films. Um, you know, basically a lot of nudist camp films. People go into nudist camps, people walk around naked, whatever they may be. That was a very popular thing, and um, and so here's the back of the titles on here. So I can't read those in backwards, but we have Nude on the Moon, Blaze Star Goes Nudist, Hide Out in the Sun, Gentlemen Prefer Nature Girls. Diary of a Nudist, and The Prince and the Nature Girl. I apologize for back and forth. The camera's backwards. I can't really see. <laughs> but that's what's on here. And you're probably wondering what these are here. These little, that'll be explained momentarily. So <clears throat> here's the spine of that. And like I said, this is a very nice, again, uh, here's the back of mine. These are very nice hardcover sets. And actually, I got this through, uh, I, should, I should reiterate, I got these through Vinegar Syndrome. But they're actually released from uh, American Genre Film Association, the AGFA, and uh, something weird video, but uh, through Vinegar Center. So it's kind of like their partners label. Because right now, the Vinegar Center is doing their partners uh, sale all month long. So these are still up on their site to check out. Um, <clears throat> so here's the slipcover for this. Here's a nice little warning there. If you can't see it, it says, With deep appreciation, we wish to thank the management of uh, Coral Castle, Homestead, Florida, for their cooperation and allowing us to use their facilities. Obviously, it's probably a nudist resort. Um, back, see these little alien men probably fighting an alien nudist colony because you know alien nudist colonies in space. So here's the actual case <clears throat> and the back. And I said, there's a lot of films, and this is just the first set, so this is really cool. <clears throat> and a lot of special features throughout here. Again, just kind of pop it up there so you can see these, and that's just for this first set. And open it up, and I got to be really careful here. We got what we're showing. Okay, I'm not going to show you the inside of this of this slip cover. There's an image, but it's it's got nudity, so <laughs> we won't show that. But it comes with a little booklet with a naked girl on the back. So I can't show you the back of this. <laughs> and all throughout this book, there's a lot of nakedness. So, but 
there's an interview, in here, a full interview here with Doris Wishman, and uh, just and I, you know, a little write up on her early early days, her early films. So you've got this first set, which has the uh, Nude of the Moon and Blaze Star Goes Nudist. The second disc, uh, Hide Out in the Sun, Gentlemen for Nature Girls. And then disc three has Diary of a Nudist and the, Pr uh, the Prince and the Nature Girl. And again, the back of this has stuff I can't show you. So that is the first set. This is a really, really nice set. I mean, they've done a really good job putting this together. And it's, it's really pretty, actually. <laughs> so that's the first set. The second set is the films of Doris Wishman, The Moonlight Years. And on this set, I'll do it right this time. We have, <clears throat> and this is kind of what we're, this is kind of her, uh, I guess, uh, film noir, sex exploitation kind of era. So it's kind of these films focus on, not so much nudie cuties or kind of the more. Again, the film noir, a serious kind of uh, sex and violence, maybe. But you've got Bad Girls Go to Hell, Indecent Desires, Another Day, Another Man, My Brother's Wife, A Taste of Flesh, The Sex Perils, oh, excuse me, The Sex Perils of Paulette, Too Much, Too Often, The Hot Month of August, and Passion Fever, all in this one set. So there's the front here again this is the moonlight years and i like how the you know each of these are kind of a different uh color scheme here's the back with the titles and again those four little <laughs> will be explained so here's the slip cover producer or doris wishman here's the back of that slip cover and here's the Desk or the case. I'm sure, there's nothing there. Okay, <laughs> there's all your special features. Let's see. And this has reverse artwork. It's not quite as nice. No nudity in it. Um, so I can. It is a little. You've got a. You know, it's a candlelit like one, but at least she's not exposing anything naughty. And of course, you've got another little booklet, and here's the back of that. You know, again, a little naughty, but not not a little risky, but not too bad. Um, and you know, basically, a little essay talking about her her moonlight years, as it were, um, and then a little interview with her, which I think all three of these have interviews over that period of time, which is really nice in the pictures. And then you've got all your three discs with all your films on them. <laughs> so that is the second set. And that brings us to the third and final set in the series, which is the films of Doris, Wish Doris Wishman, The Twilight Years. Now these are the films that from I gather, a little more on the exploitation, a little more raunchy, and kind of a little more on the wilder end of the spectrum. You've got Deadly Weapons, uh, Double Agent 73, just in case you wondered, <laughs> The Immortal Three, The Amazing Transplant, Let Me Die a Woman, Keyholes Are for Peeping, and love toy so you get an idea of what we're talking about here so again the nice different color scheme with the pink here's the spine and there's the, the back with all your titles and again produced and directed by doris wishman other side of that slip cover and here is and all your features and I'm really excited to go digging into these and checking them out because again clips I've seen the, the trailers that 
uh, Vinegar Syndrome released for this set, and some of these movies just look like, ugh. Not, look, not great, but fun and interesting, and, you know, and some are just out there weird, and especially these later ones, I definitely look forward to checking out to see how crazy they, they are. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, you reverse, you know, scaling clad woman, but she's clothed, mostly. So, <laughs> there's that, in reverse of the cover art. Okay. Get that back in there. And, of course, you've got, if we get it out of here, another booklet, which, going over the Twilight Years, the back of that. And then basically, you're going to have a write up talking about these later years of her career, along with another interview. So, this is really fascinating. They actually look forward to reading these and learning more about this, uh, about Doris Wishman. Because um, I'm fascinated, you know, because you, you think of exploitation films and you're thinking mostly men, because men are sleazy, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, but to have a woman. Um, make these kind of movies and, you know, be so prolific at it. And from, you know, all accounts being really just some of these just really wild and perverse from a woman's point of view is very fascinating, especially in that era. So it, it's really definitely, it's, I would almost think it's history making in some ways. I really look forward to checking it out. So here's your discs, you know, three to set. So the vinegar syndrome, just, you know, or, a, or Agfa, uh, Something weird. Whoever you put it together did a fantastic, fantastic job of making these sets so appealing. Like I said, it was kind of a blind buy. I mean, just from a little bit I heard about Doris Wishman and watching the trailers, but seeing these sets, they were just so beautiful. <laughs> I just had, you know, I, I couldn't resist. Um, <clears throat> on a side note about Doris Wishman, you know, here's a funny thing. We give you an extra bonus is that she also dipped her toes into. Uh, adult features, porn, if you will. Um, I was not aware of that, and I actually, prior to this set, I had picked up one of uh, Vinegar Syndrome's uh, Picarama titles, which was uh, Come With Me, My Love, and Satan Was a Lady, both directed by Doris Wishman. Um, I think these are only two uh, porn films she did. And the reason why I picked this up, honestly, because I actually remember seeing Come With Me, My Love Years ago, it was on a recorded VHS. I don't know how, where it came from, who had it, whatever. But there are parts of this I remember seeing. I was like, I, I can get that because I remember that. And, of course, both films do start uh, adult film legend Andy Sprinkle. And Vanessa Del Rio is actually has a, in, in company, uh, my love. And both these are kind of uh, deal with supernatural. Um, you, like, this is, deals with a, uh, a vengeful ghost of, you know, haunting a, a woman, and, you know, Satan was late, I think it has to deal with, I think the same, it was a very similar ghost, I can't remember the exact plot, but it was a little, this one was a little weird, like, both a little weird, <laughs> but again, you're doing supernatural and porn all, you know, in together, so what more could anyone ask, right, so, but it's very fascinating that I, you know, pick these up, not even realizing that these were, you know, anything about Doris Wishman or, or whatnot, um, so that's your added bonus, now, about those four circles, or on each one of these boxes. This is what I thought was really cool, because when I, when I got these, is that, let's see if I can do this without, um, let's go from the back in here. So, here's the, 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 the last title, and here's middle title. They're magnetic. That, I thought, was such a cool thing. Um, that... Yeah, these these sets are are magnetic. Um, they all cling together, and that is such a neat feature. I you can keep them together. I don't. Who'd have thought of something like that? So it's you know, I just got them out of the box. And I was like, why are these stuck together? Is when I realized that these little circles in the back they're all magnets and they all connect to each other, and that is such a neat detail. I think for me, um, that is very unique. I've never seen that, but it's cool. There, so they are all, all together. <clears throat> and again, the uh, so the films of Doris Wishman um, from Vinegar. Well, actually, again, from uh, 
American, what was it? I had it, you know. <laughs> uh, American Genre Film Archives, right? American Genre Film Archives, that's what it is. Um, and something weird video through Vinegar Syndrome. Um, this is a great, great set. I'm looking forward to diving into all these films. There's a lot here. Um, so it's really cool. To get almost, you know, all of her film art. There's a few in here that aren't in here. I think uh, looking at one or two, one film is probably lost. I'm not sure what that is. And there's some stuff she did up in, you know, not long before she passed away. Because um, she was apparently working well into her 90s. So kudos to her. <clears throat> but still, that to get uh, all these exploitation, sexploitation films in this, in these three, you know, sets all together is pretty cool. And the presentation is top notch. So, you know, kudos to everyone involved in doing this. Very awesome. Um, if you, I don't know if you're in the exploitation or exploitation or, or familiar with the word Swishman or what, you know, but if you are or just have a curiosity, I recommend picking these up. Uh, I can't remember the price point on them right now. I think they were on sale because it was, it's their partner's uh, month when I picked them up. But I think they probably go for about, around 40 a piece give or take maybe a little higher you know don't quote me on that <clears throat> but well worth i mean so much stuff on here along with you know, the movies or special features the packaging they're magnetic <laughs> how cool is that so <sighs> i'm looking very forward to, to diving into these so that is it for now um if you enjoyed this click thumbs up share subscribe leave me a comment below let me know if you heard of doris wishman uh, let me know if you've read Sleeze Away Express. That's a very fascinating book. Uh, again, especially if you're into, you know, uh, Grindhouse, 42nd Street, you know, exploitation films uh, from the you know, 60s, 70s era, even early 80s. It's a very, very, you know, uh, down and dirty, gritty book. Of, you know, some details of the people who were involved in the making of those films. Um or, you know, just say hi. I'll always take hi. So, until next time, this is Chuck saying I will see you on the other side.